This is a live demo productions brought to you by Don't Dig Your Own Grave Incorporated. Hi, I'm Phil Dye, the construction science guy, with my buddy Dave, the construction worker. Today we're here to talk about soil collapse, which is one of the most dangerous hazards on a construction site and almost 100% preventable. Yet, over 35 workers die each year, with many more being injured. Unfortunately, that number is increasing. This is a bad situation for David and his colleagues. Let's look at the science of why soil is so dangerous. Usually, soils are secured by pressure from all directions, but when a trench is excavated, one of those forces is removed, leaving the soil in an unstable condition. Here is a cross-sectional view of how the force increases the further down you excavate. When soil fails in a trench, it is the horizontal force or active force that impacts the worker. Now take for example, Dave is working in a 12-foot trench. If that soil fails, he will be impacted with approximately 1,800 pounds per square inch, which is like being hit by Mike Tyson. Coupled with the force from the collapse, the speed that the soil fails creates an even more dangerous situation. Dave thinks he can jump down and fix something and be back out in less than a minute. What Dave doesn't know is that the soil collapse happens in roughly one-tenth of a second, literally at the blink of an eye. If the speed and force of the collapse doesn't kill you, now the passive pressure, or the soil's dead weight, is crushing you. What happens is, after it collapsed, the worker will exhale, compressing his lungs. When the worker tries to take another breath, they are unable to because of the force of the soil applied onto their chest. At just 5 feet deep, the passive pressure is roughly 5,000 pounds, which is a fully loaded F-150 sitting on your chest. There are many reasons a soil collapse is triggered, some of which we control, like vibrations from a nearby equipment, or having the excavated soil or heavy equipment staged near the trench opening. Some of the reasons for failure we have no control over, and a lot of times don't know they're a factor until it's too late like having stronger, heavier soils over weaker soils, or exposed soils becoming dried out, causing weak fractures and cracks in the trench, having weaker soils sandwiched in between differing strength soils, or a wedge failure that can be caused by fractures or cracks several feet away from the trench itself. With all this working against you, Dave, there are some very simple tools and techniques at your disposal to keep you safe. Trench boxes, also known as sewer boxes, trench shields, and manhole covers, can be installed in minutes. They are a pre-constructed set of side plates and adjustable cross members that prevent the walls of the excavation from collapsing in on you. Shoring is also another tool you can use, is a process of bracing the walls of a trench to prevent collapse. And if none of this equipment is available, the technique of slope and benching creates a slope from the bottom of the trench to the ground above at a 0.5 to 1 to 2 to 1 slope depending on the type of soil. To recap, soil collapse is extremely dangerous and can happen in the blink of an eye, but it is completely preventable by using trench boxes, shoring, or sloping techniques to protect the excavated site. So Dave, from Live Demos, this is Phil Dye saying, don't dig your own grave. Thank you.